I'm back. Yes. Welcome to Mission 3, Lesson 30. Our student objective for this lesson in math is to solve division problems with a zero in the dividend or with a zero in the quotient. So, so doing division problems. But now we're going to see what happens when there we have zeros at certain spots throughout that problem and how we handle that. That's cool. We know how to do division. We can handle this. Let's get to it. All right, here's a good one right here. Let's solve this one together because we can. Okay, so we have 605 divided by three. And so you notice here there's a zero right there in the problem. So you see that zero, so that's what we're talking about. Hey, we have a zero here, how are we gonna handle that? Well. My steps are all still the same. I'm going to write it off to the side here. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, repeat. Okay, I'm just going to do those steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, repeat. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, repeat. Okay, so my first step here, I'm going to divide. So I start here, and I do with my largest place value, which is in the hundreds. So I have six hundreds. So I'm doing six divided by three. Six divided by three is two. Three goes into six two times without going over. Okay, then I multiply. Three times two is six. My third step is I, S, sister, subtract. So I do six minus six. And when I do six minus six, I get zero. Okay, and then I bring down so what am I bringing down? I'm bringing down that zero. The next place it was a zero. And then I repeat. I'm gonna repeat the whole process. Okay, now this is what we're talking about and where it gets a little different. So we brought down this zero and we had zero left over. So our new number when we're starting over with is zero. That is a zero. So we're starting over just with zero as the number. So I'm, I'm still gonna to go to my first step, divide. I'm going to ask myself, what's 0 divided by 3? How many times does 3 go into 0 without going over? Well, 0 divided by anything is always going to be 0. It's always going to be 0. So 0 divided by 3 is 0. Okay, because 0 divided by any number is 0. 3 goes into 0 0 times. You can't do it. So I'm just going to put that 0 up top. I'm still doing the steps though. I divided. Now I'm going to multiply. 3 times 0. Well, 3 times 0 is 0. Then I'm going to subtract. And 0 minus 0 is 0. And now I'm going to bring down. I'm going to bring down this 5. And join it with that 0. So now I'm going to start over again. I'm going to repeat. And my new number is 5. I have that zero that was left over and the five. That's just five. So now I just do the process over again. I divide. Five divided by three. Well, three goes into five one time without going over. I multiply. Three times one is three. I subtract. Five minus three is two. And then I'm supposed to bring down, but there's nothing left to bring down so that tells me I'm done. And that 2 is my remainder. So my quotient is 201 with a remainder of 2. 201 with remainder of 2. Let's take a look at one more together. So this is now 7,030 divided by 3. Okay. Let's go with blue here. I'm just going to write off to the side, divide, multiply, subtract, Bring down, repeat. Okay. And I just I always like to write the initials off to the side just so I always remember the steps, right? Or at least get their reminders for me for the steps. Okay, notice there's a couple zeros in this one, but that's okay, we can handle this. So I start off with daddy divide here, and I start off and I go seven divided by three. So seven divided by three, how many times does three go into seven without going over? Two times, I multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. I subtract. 
7 minus 6 is 1. And then I bring down. I'm just going to bring down this 0. And now I repeat. And now my new family here, the new number I'm starting off with is 10. I'm just going to start the process over with 10. So I'm going to say 10 divided by 3 is, how many times is 3 going to 10 without going over? 3 times. Okay, 3, 6, 9. And then I multiply. 3 times 3 is 9. Eh, I lost it. Come back here. Is 9. And then I subtract. 10 minus 9 is 1. And then I bring down. So now I'm just bringing down that next place value, which is the 3. And I then I repeat. And I start over again with dividing, but now my new number is 13. Okay, 13. And so I'm doing 13 divided by three. How many times does three go into 13 without going over? Well, three, six, nine, 12, 15. Okay, that's too high. So that's four times. Four times it'll go into 13. Then I multiply four times three is 12. And then I subtract. 13 minus 12 is 1, and now I bring down, and I'm just bringing down that 0. And then I repeat. I do the whole process over again. But now my new number is 10. So now I'm doing 10 divided by 3. How many times does 3 go into 10 without going over? Well, again, it's 3. 3 times 3, I multiply, is 9. I'm running out of space again. And then I subtract. 10 minus 9 is 1. And now I bring down. But is there anything left to bring down? Nope, there's not. So what I need to do then is I just bring that one up. And it is my remainder. Just like that. And so our quotient for this one is, this problem is 2,343 with the remainder of one. So that's what we mean when we say there's going to be zeros in these problems and you just got to bring the zeros down or handle the zeros as you would appropriately. Now remember if it's averages zero and so it's like zero divided by a number then that number is going to be zero. Zero divided by any number is zero. Okay. So good luck with these. Again it's not a new skill we're really learning it's just we're advancing our division skills. Okay. Good luck to you and I wish you well.